few years ago I make a video about compression molding fiberless and carbon bow limbs. This technique works great, even today most of my bows are made this way. Compression mold will squeeze out any excess resin, so the final product will be highly efficient. I will put the link of that video in description so you can check it. Downside of this technique is that the mold is somewhat complicated and time consuming to make. And the fit between top and the bottom part must be perfect. Let's try to achieve similar results with simple wet layup technique. In order to really test our material I will make super high stress bow. It will be just about 27 inches long with a lot of reflex. Now I'm making sides of the mold from some MDF pieces. These side walls will prevent fibers from running out of the mold. I'm using just ordinary packing tape to prevent epoxy from sticking to the mold. Now I'm fixing side walls with screws so I can remove them later. Since unidirectional fiberless is not available in my country, I'm just using the woven glass and remove the cross strands. Now I'm cutting it to the width of the mold, which is in this case about 35 mm. For this experiment I'm using some leftover pieces, unidirectional fiberless carbon and woven fiberless. You can make entire bow just with unidirectional fiberless or carbon. But I like to have mix between woven and unidirectional fibers in the bow. The woven fibers will protect bow from longitudinal splits, which can develop over time if you dry fires a bow or shoot two light arrows. For Ricker bows I like to use woven carbon which fiber runs at 45 degrees angle. That will give a lot of torsional stability to the bow. Now, let's start. I'm using epoxy resin with working time of about 60 minutes, which will give me a lot of time to work. Starting with three layers of woven fiberglass. I'm using this piece of G10 as a squeegee and apply epoxy with a brush. Try to use least amount of resin as possible. That will give us stronger material. Now goes the unidirectional carbon fiber. Try to lay fibers as straight as possible. The waves in fiber can create a weak spot, so we should avoid that.
Now I'm continue with some woven fiberless. I usually lay the woven fibers on the back of the bow and in the middle. On the belly I like the unidirectional fibers. Because woven fibers can take a little bit of set under compression loads. Now I'm laying short carbon strands in order to stiffen the middle of the bow. Followed by more woven fiberless. Now I'm laying even shorter carbon strands in the middle of the bow. Next I'm laying the long unidirectional carbon strands and some woven fiberless. And finally for the belly I'm laying the unidirectional fiberless, paying attention to lay down everything straight. This is especially important on the belly side, cause any wrinkle in the fiber can result in a crack. These cracks usually don't affect structural integrity and performance of the bow, but let's avoid them if we can. The good thing with fiberless is that it became transparent when fully saturated with resin, so it's really easy to detect the dry spots.
After we are done with laminating, I will use this G10 piece to squeeze out any excess resin. Now I will give it some time to cure. Let's remove these side walls and see what we have. It looks pretty good. Since this is just an experiment, I will not make an effort to finish it properly. Now I'm marking the profile of the bow. Sanding down all of the sharp edges. For knock reinforcement I am using a piece of G10. I'm painting it black, just to look a little bit better. It reminds me a little bit of Native American sinew-backed bows. It has a good amount of reflex. Let's string this bow now.
this is actually amazing. This little thing holds about 60 pounds of draw weight. This actually shoots pretty fast. This experiment is a success. The material made by this technique is comparable with compression molded material and will make an excellent full-size bow. It did not lose any reflex, which is really good. With this technique anyone can make a molded bow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.